as you're as you're looking at the text. Like I say, it's a little bit of a compulsive thing, you know, like the um, if the guy in a, a beautiful mind is spotting patterns, you know, it's it's a little bit like that. It's uh, kind of addictive. Well, there's a fine line between the impulsive and the compulsive. Both of them can result in action. You know? That's true. I'm sure I could stop if I tried. I'm sure I could. Um, this is another one. This one, I think this is the picture that's here on the opposite page actually went with the article. So, hopefully this will zoom up on that. Um, and this one sounds like this. Episodes of mania tend to several months and cycle on through a more extreme set. These kids who look, it hurts to watch them. They've had four hours. They are giggling. They are hypersexual. They want, they want to undress. They talk too much, too little, and they think they're in charge. I remember this one was taken out of a, a, a scientific magazine that was about the, about cheese, <laughs> which will be revealed. This is this is Wisconsin poem. Not that I've been to Wisconsin, but the author of the original article had. Vastly because I did anything, I thus got depleted. A barren desert, a bachelor. Let's start that again. Yeah. Okay. It's all tangled up. Vastly because I did anything, I thus got depleted. A barren desert, a bachelor's refrigerator. Arm and leave all the clenchings. This is Wisconsin. My inaugural mouthful of cheese bits that form in the super fresh. They will indeed squeak. Still supple, rubbery. And the cheese is as quiet time, of course, wasn't all cheese. Some kind of scrivener is rewarded for not growing. My throat became ever various. There's a ferment to that. There is a ferment to it. <laughs> and I have one more of these. No, I think I, I think I still have time for this last one. Okay. The last few minutes. Okay, maybe I should go to this last one because yeah. I, I certainly want to get this one in. This one uh, was written, this is another San Francisco poem. This was from years ago when my daughter was a um, little toddler and, uh, you know, now she's taller than I am and composing Grace. music. My daughter Grace, yes. Um, this is a trip to the beach. Ocean beach in winter or Grace takes an ocean. And Miles was just about born around that time, He right? was in utero okay. at the time. A lull in the weather, we go to the beach, seeking storm-tossed treasures. We find wrapped, unpalatable plastic spat out of the sea and one perfect white shell. We find also heaps of sea foam that glide or tumble across the strand like earthbound clouds. In the mirrory sand, other clouds show pale and flat. Far from shore, breakers rise, crowned with sea spray. Each crashes down the avalanche plain, overtaken by the next cataclysm. My girl has taken a notion to put the sand in the sea. She has taken a notion her fistful of sand will stave off the creeping surf. We go to the water's edge and wait. The tide sidles up to our feet. She hurls the sand. It scrapes the foam, and lo, the tide hastens away. Indeed. Well said, I would say. We thank you very much, Cleveland Wall, and we thank um, the Queen's Council of the Arts and the Queen's Community Arts Fund that enables us to continue as a project with this show. And we're the Fresh Meadows Poets, and as I said, 
we have with us Cleveland Wall, who has given us a sort of an opening um, seg segue or an opening uh, in the series of uh, work of shows about her work and her life. Uh, we've covered um, Cleveland has covered some uh, of her time in uh, San Francisco and uh, a little bit about her family and um, shared with us the notion of found poems, found situations, found appropriated texts. And uh, I think it's wonderful that you've done this beautiful book. Uh, I think it's very important to keep some of the germinal components, some of the seminal components of, of a work. And it's quite a job you did with this mask. Right? So, oh, thank you. <laughs> so we are the Fresh Meadows Poets, and we thank you all very much for taking the time to um, consider poetry. It's, it's such a um, little process, a little, little part of the society of multimedia and 